love the Lord? Have you been demonstrating that you trust in the Lord? Have you been demonstrating that even in the worst time, in the darkest time, all you're doing is waiting on the Lord because you know that he's going to show up at some point? They're watching. They're watching. This faith he's talking about has been, has been handed down from generation to generation. Now you see, I know that, that, that those of us who have been at this for a while, those of us who have studied the Bible for a while, when we say faith, we go immediately to Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's a, that's a tough one to explain sometimes, but basically you have to believe uh, that, that, that in things that are impossible with no concrete evidence, let me give you what the Amplified says. It says, faith is an absolute, unconditional, unlimited, unquestionable belief that God is constantly working behind the scenes in every area of your life, even when there's no tangible evidence. Absolute. Unlimited, unquestionable. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. You, know you know that you know. That you know. And watch this, you see, see, here's the thing about faith. Faith is there even in your worst times. Faith is there even when things are not going your way, when you, you have not heard from God. Isn't that the most frustrating thing? You've been praying and praying and waiting to hear something, ain't heard nothing. Excuse me, English teacher. <laughs> you have not heard of it. Okay, all right, good. Um, by the way, I want to welcome those. We're online. We're, we're, we're um, streaming live on Facebook, so I want to say hello to all those who are who are with us this morning. This is World Communion Sunday, and we have um, Scholars and Centenary and St. Matthews and Franklin are all here together. Can y'all give them a hand break? <laughs> That applause is louder than the rest until they get too open, buddy. I'm sorry, let me get back on track. Let me get back on track. Oh, man, that was bad. That was bad. I slipped. I slipped. Faith! Let's go back to faith. Hallelujah. Faith is this, 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 the faith gives us the reality of the proof of things that are unseen. Treat them as though they are already there. But see, faith is not just a word, faith is our action. Don't tell me you have faith and you ain't doing nothing. Don't tell me you have faith and you're afraid to move, that you're afraid to do, even though you, you can't feel God. Your faith knows that God is going to show up and show up at any minute. That's what faith is all about. And Paul says to Timothy, I know that you have faith. I know that you have faith to understand that whatever it is you need to do, you can do it. The faith says you must believe and are willing to live all aspects of your life that with that belief at the forefront. You must Believe. It's more than talk. It's more than singing those songs. No doubt, no doubt. More than singing the songs. Uh, you can't let me doubt him because I know too much about him. It's more than a song. It is your lifestyle. It's how you live. And I want you to know, people are watching you. I don't go to your job and claim you're a Christian and things go bad and you start whining and doing everything just like everybody else. God is on your side. You have faith that no matter what's going through, even if you lose your job, if you, I lost my job, I just said, well, God must have a better job for me. In the name of Jesus. Because I have faith. I've never seen the righteous forsaken of their children begging for bread. I have some faith. I think if you believe the word, you walk different and you talk different and you live different. Can I get an amen in the house? And then the Bible says that it takes boldness. Paul recognizes that because he knows how difficult this life is. There are challenges. There's backbiting and bickering and lies and gossip. And that's inside the church. Help me. Hey! of our 
our life that He places before us. God has given you. Turn in there. Amen. God has given you. God has given you. Everything that you need. Everything.
children of God. Lord God, you told us to go and make disciples for Jesus Christ. Lord God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would fan the flames within us. And we don't hold back anymore. And we don't stand silent anymore. And we know now that, that you have called us and it only takes one. So Heavenly Father, may this day be just the beginning of more. As we hear your voice and give you the glory. This is our prayer. In the awesome name of Jesus we pray and say, Amen.